guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sochil. For those of you who are new here, do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with more affordable makeup reviews, tutorials, and some extras like today. I wanted to talk about products that I've used up. That's very, very hard when you buy a lot of makeup and skincare products, but these are products I've used up completely, whether I liked it or I didn't. And so I'm just going to go through and show you what products I finished and whether or not I would repurchase them so if you like these videos and definitely keep on watching so the first product that I have this is a st. Ives this is one of their face scrubs and they have different face scrubs I still have my oatmeal face scrub this one I feel like I used up because this is in the shower and this is their even and bright face scrub kind of shows you in the back like the exfoliation factor from gentle moderate and deep and this one is on the moderate level and and I would definitely, I don't know if I would repurchase this. Just one, because I just want to try something new. I liked it, but I didn't feel like this was like, wow, absolutely amazing. I think I still prefer my oatmeal one a little bit better, um, just because I feel like it really gets the dead skin off. Even though it's more gentle, I just feel like the oatmeal is a little bit better for that. This is maybe more like surface level rather than like kind of, I don't know, like within sinking into the, like type of thing. I don't know how best explain it. I liked it and maybe I would repurchase it eventually, but I kind of want to try out something a little bit different, whether it's another drugstore exfoliating, um, what do you call this? product <laughs> or if maybe a little bit more high-end i'm not sure if you guys have some other favorites i know they have like the saint ives um i forgot which other ones like really really harsh i don't not a fan of that one but if you guys have any other favorites of affordable especially i love my affordable um skincare face scrubs let me know i have a lot of skincare products to go through the next one is the mario badescu this is a cucumber cleansing lotion and i actually just picked up up a new one well you're actually gonna see another one of these it's a mini one which is why I probably went through it a little bit quicker but I did already uh, purchase a Mario Badescu kind of a uh, toner but different so this one I actually did like however I felt like as refreshing as I once thought it was I feel like maybe it's drying on my skin just a little bit and what I like about the Mario Badescu products is the fact that um, they tell you like what skin types this is good for so they have C and an O so combo and oily so I'm just like why did I even get this <laughs> It's not really necessarily for dry skin. I have dry skin, but like at first it felt like really refreshing. I feel like compared to other toners that I tried that were like a little bit more on the drying side. But now that I tried another one, which I'll talk about, I'm just like, hmm, maybe not as refreshing. And then I actually purchased another completely different one. I actually just picked up the Mario Badescu. It's their aloe uh, toner, which is specifically for dry skin. So it's like extra hydrating. I've been liking that one a lot. So here's the other their Mario Badescu. This is their Witch Hazel and Rose Water Toner and it says it's good for all skin types. So I actually bought, well I was gonna buy a toner in general, but then I saw this mini one with like little rosehip oil and some other rose Mario Badescu kind of of their line and like a little bundle. So that's why I was like, you know what, I get to try a little bit of everything. And I actually felt like this was even more refreshing, which makes sense because it's more for all skin types as opposed to combo and oily. But the fact that I was about to buy another one of these in the big version, and I totally will probably again because I did enjoy it, but I actually looked and I saw specifically for dry skin. <laughs> So that's why I got the aloe one, which I have been loving. So kind of torn, but I think if anything, I'll like go between the aloe and the rose one, if anything. The next product is more of a, a body hydrating product. Very, very simple, but I like it. So I like it for a couple reasons. This is the Jergens Ultra Healing Repairs and Heals Extra Dry Skin. They're extra dry skin moisturizer. Because you know sometimes you get like body hand moisturizer and it's like for dry skin, but people don't understand what dry skin really is. Like luckily my body isn't as dry as like my face, but I just feel like I'm extra dry here in Chicago. It's really cold. You're gonna like not be as moisturized. You're gonna need to moisturize more. So, and especially, I don't know why, every time when like, I wash my hands, like I never noticed this in the years before, but my hands do feel dry. So like, I feel like I have to have a moisturizer, put on a moisturizer right after I wash my hands every single time. Like it's just part of my routine now before it wasn't. And I want 
I want specifically for my desk at my office. Just something simple that I can keep um, there because I just, my hands just feel so dry. It's like I can't take it anymore. So I actually picked this up because I love the price. I think it was like two, three bucks and max. But this is so moisturizing. Jergens. It's so simple. This is the most basic thing. But sometimes you need those simple basic things. So I just kind of like always having one at my desk. Then I was like, oh, maybe one for like one purse, my book bag. You know, just so I kind of have, you know one who knows especially when you switch purses but i know i'll definitely repurchase this probably for like work or just kind of have offhand somewhere but i do like my fancy hand moisturizers from like bath and body works a little you know more scents a little bit nicer but if you want a nice neutral scent that's gonna moisturize very dry skin this is definitely the one the next product is an affordable favorite of mine it's definitely become a favorite more and more because i haven't repurchased anything else since i've purchased this and it is this is the oil-free eye makeup remover from target this is their up and up brand this is the target brand one so it's like really cheap i think it's like three bucks or something for an eye makeup remover and a lot of people don't do eye makeup remover which reminds me no i did buy one for my sister for christmas because she does not i gotta get another one because who knows if she repurchased it hopefully i incorporated it into her like skincare routine but i you know used to use my favorite one which was from like philosophy and that's a little expensive but then sonia kashuk had a ten dollar one but that's so kind of pricey so i wanted something really cheap and i really like the target one i've tried neutrogena before but neutrogena skincare specifically it's just not a friend to my dry skin so this is one that's great if you have dry skin it doesn't leave like an oily like residue on your eyes and i've already repurchased this this is my second time repurchasing it and i already got a new one in my bathroom so yes we'll continue to repurchase until i find another affordable uh, eye makeup remover. Next, you're always gonna see one of these in one of my videos. This is Max Fix Plus. This is legit my holy water. <laughs> and I actually just ran out of an, about to run out of another one. I gotta put the rest of it in the new one that I've already purchased. I think I have like, now with these, maybe like, I can't count right now. <laughs> I have maybe like seven or eight, about to be nine of these. So I need to do a back to Mac and get a free lipstick. Quick shout out, one of Frankie's empties yet again, his Kalamazoo face beard wash. Specifically, we actually, I think last month, we just um, went to the mall because they have a Shake Shack there. So that's usually our little treat. It's like Shake Shack and Lush and Bath and Body Works. It's our routine basically. <laughs> and if I need to return something at like Nordstrom or Macy's, then we'll go. But of course, he got another one so if you have a boyfriend a husband a brother a father ooh, this would be a great gift like father's day if they have a beard and they want to you know maintain it so far he likes it so i mean hey if you guys want to check out something from lush um treat yourself on the side i would definitely suggest getting this for a, a man in your life a couple a couple and by couple i mean five brow pencils that i've gone through actually no make that six i had just finished up another one mid brows and luckily i I had a backup it's the worst but and they're different there's some you know duplicates here but so i finished up these brow pencils i have three of the nyx micro brow pencils and i actually just picked up an la girl one which we have an la girl one as well i already have currently using la girl and i have a backup for that la girl which is la girl they're shady slim brow pencils and then i had finished up this is the elf there i think micro brow pencil loved it all of these i loved and then also have the l'oreal brow stylist their definer brow pencil this is kind of like the thicker one um but all of these i think are great options i specifically want to pick up another um the wet and wild the retractable one which is kind of like a a uh, similar version of this L'Oreal one a little bit thicker because I'm just like especially for work just a quick brow That's all I need so I want to get another one of those because only those are only five dollars The next product that I finished up sadly. I think this is my second one that I had purchased This is the L'Oreal infallible glow lock primer. I haven't used another primer Unless I've done a tutorial specifically, I think it was like my $6 and under because it's not less than $6, it's like 10 or 11, totally worth it though. Because of how long it lasts, like when did I start using this? Was this like 
end of 2017, 2018. Like one of these honestly probably lasts you anywhere from like eight months to a year, depending how often you wear makeup. Like that's how good it is. This is great for dry skin. I already bought another one. And that's just honestly my go-to until I find another great drugstore affordable favorite like this one, like ride or die. Next product that I finished up and I'm about to finish up another one. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner also one that I always have a backup to. So I have the one that I'm currently using and I just purchased a backup for when that one like just goes out. I would definitely say brows and eyeliner <laughs> have a backup to it while you're using one already, whether it's the same brand or not, because if you're doing your makeup and midway, imagine if you did one wing and then you ran out of an eyeliner and you have to rush out, like what? what? <laughs> and like there's no drugstores open, or who knows? Like, you know, you don't have time, like, Ooh, that could be a nightmare. So I have a, a backup and a backup to your backup. Next product that I have is a lip liner. This is a Maybelline Sensational Sensational Lip Liner. This one is in the shade, wow, sh 115 Totally Toffee. Ooh, yeah. I use that up and I would, let me see if I can swatch it. Oh, that's, that's dried out. Um, but yes, I would definitely, I think I did already repurchase this one, if not in a darker shade. So if you kind of want like those nudie brownie, kind of, not uh, nudie, orange, orangey nude, kind of, yeah, like, yeah like what my lips are like type of with you i don't know yes i would totally repurchase i really do like these maybelline retractable lip liners so creamy so pigmented the next product that i used up is my mac soft ochre paint pots and honestly it was just it didn't have too much but it was it got really really dry after and i'd had it for a while so i did already purchase another one which i've been using so I would definitely recommend any high-end eyeshadow primer. I would recommend MAC. I used to use Urban Decay back in the day when I first started and that was popular, but I don't know. There's nothing for me better than a MAC eyeshadow primer. If not, you know what? Sometimes I don't even use it these days. I just use a full coverage concealer, but I don't know. I don't even know if I'd say, I don't know why. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I would I say I don't need an eyeshadow primer if I have concealer? Yes and no. <laughs> I feel like either one works. I don't know. Sometimes I just maybe not feel extra fancy, but maybe just a little bit better of a job. But I feel like concealer is just as good. I don't know. That's a great debate. Do you feel like you need an official eyeshadow primer for your makeup? Given that, you know, concealers are so matte and full coverage that they kind of give you the same effect. I don't know, I'm confused, you let me know. The next product that I have, this is a Happy Birthday Sexy Sexy Hair Spray and Play Hairspray. This is so old, I had barely finished it maybe like two months ago, two, three months ago. And this isn't even like a huge size. And this was like, if anybody remembers what year this was, comment down below when this was like a free birthday gift from Ulta. I wish, does it have an expiration? Oh, here you go. This was, I'm pretty sure, 2016 because on the back it has $5 off $25 sexy hair purchase. And I know if they're going to do that, they're going to give you a deadline. So yeah, valid May 1st through October 1st, 2016 in Ulta stores. <laughs> yeah, so this is like a three-year-old hairspray. I don't know what the rule is on hair products and lifetime span. Is there like, a, is, you know, like there is for makeup? But yeah, so I've had this for three years and it took me that long to finish it. I honestly only really ended up using a lot um, was I feel like because I had run out of my other hairsprays and I was like, I don't feel like paying $16 for a L'Oreal hairspray. I want something cheaper, which I did end up trying. I think it was a Garnier one, really cheap for a reason. It was like a three or I don't know the whole, it was like a three out of four though. It's like, okay, almost there, but no, 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 no. Now I'm using the Nexus one, which I do like, uh, but I think ultimately for like those soft curls, that last L'Oreal man because he L'Oreal or Tresemme maybe I'm just old school because I feel like I grew up with Tresemme hey at least I'm not using Aquanet <laughs> do they still make Aquanet we used to use that all the time that was like a oh my god um that was crazy so I mean Tresemme I'm still true to Tresemme if I want those curls to stay and then like stay the next day type of a deal or L'Oreal but honestly I probably wouldn't repurchase Big Sexy Hair just because it feels like it's maybe too strong where like it's like a free spray it kind of makes my curls look a little bit crunchy I'm not a big I wouldn't repurchase. The last two products are actually favorites of mine, and this is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer for all skin types. This 
has been my savior for like a morning moisturizer that's moisturizing for dry skin, but that also isn't um, very, very thick and it's gonna make you feel greasy. So I feel like, yes, definitely all skin types can use this, but it's also like moisturizing enough that I can moisturize the driest of skin like mine. So I think this is a great option if you have dry skin like me or, you know, maybe a little bit less, like this is gonna be your new favorite before you do your makeup. The last product that I have is the Mario Badescu. This this is a rose hip nourishing oil. This came in that little sample pack with the other rose products where I tried the rose toner. And I have to finish up, maybe I'll do that today, a mask. I have the rose mask if I wanna feel extra fancy. And then what was the other thing? Oh, it was the spray, love. Um, I'm keeping the mini one, I'm just gonna refill it <laughs> when I need to travel. But yes, I love this so much favorite serum like so far I, I love the fresh one but that one's like way too expensive it's like $50 and this one a little bit goes a long way like you barely need like two drops not where it's like you squeeze just one squeeze i'm talking drops can make a difference like this is so good like i love this as part of like my pre-prep for like those extra cold days where my skin was extra dry like oh it just like saved my skin and made my foundation look great love it and i was about to repurchase another one. The only reason I didn't is because I still had a little bit of my Sonia Kashuk, my face serum left, so I was like, let's finish that one first and then we'll buy another new one. <laughs> Does anybody struggle with that where they're just like, I already have one, but I'm gonna go ahead and try another one before I even finish the one that I have, story of my life. But yeah, so I was good and I'm not gonna purchase another rose hip oil until I finish my Sonia Kashuk one. Those are all the products that I used up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys love any of the current products that I showed you or if there's any other products that it's like you just kind of keep repurchasing and repurchasing over and over again because that's how much you love it. That for me, usually you can tell it's a favorite of mine or I'm just like, I spent this much money, like you're gonna finish it because I can't return it type of a deal. <laughs> you never know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with some more videos and I'll see you guys next time.